Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. A couple months ago I bought this Toshiba laptop for just 10 heroes with an unknown condition. The guy tell me that his son threw it from the first floor and as you can see he pretty much destroyed the whole laptop. However, when I got home I decided to put it to the charge and 30 minutes later, for my surprise, the laptop powers on and after I plug it in to an external monitor it still works fine. Even the keyboard and the trackpad works. It's a 6th generation Core i5, 8GB of RAM with NVMe SSD with 256GB. So as you guys love my video converting a broken laptop into a stylish desktop, today we're gonna make it again, so sit down, relax enjoy another project, stick around. First, of course, we're gonna disassemble all the parts. It's gonna be quick because most of them is already broken or loose. And with all the parts disassembled, and after a quick measurements, I start the design of the case. A 
couple hours later, I get it done. Next, I send it to my friend Rui from Smic Print Design and he cut it in acrylic. A couple days later, it finally arrives. However, a problem in my communication makes all the measures wrong. This project is designed to be cut in 5mm acrylic, but he cut it in 8mm, so the gaps are now wrong. Some parts are shorter, and even if I swap it from side to side, it won't work. So, I handed it up, make the best possible with the tools I have, and a couple cuts here and there, I think this thing may be salvageable. And with all the final checks done, I think we can all start glue this thing for good. And a couple hours later, we can move on and continue the project. As you can see, it has some glue marks, but I will give this a matte finish to make it different and also to hide all the imperfections from the glue and the preview adjustments. For that, I will use some different types of sandpapers and see how it goes. And with all the sand finished, I think the result is quite cool. So let's move on and glue down the motherboard holders. Next, while the holders still dry, I soldered up two wires to the motherboard power button, so I can see now the best place to put the power button itself. And after a couple more checks, I removed the motherboard once again to make four holes to hold up the stock cover for this case. To hold the top cover, I will use these round nuts, a long thread bolt and a nice shining piece of tool to hide the threads of the bolts. And as you can see, these round nuts also works as fits for the case. Next, I drill also four holes to the top part and do the final checks. And as you can see, it looks quite good.
However, we're not done yet. I found this metal power button in my junk. It looks really good, so we're gonna need to open a hole to fit this power button. Uh, for the DC, I will just glue it without glue. At last minute, before reassemble, I decide to add some LEDs to the base for an extra touch. With them in place, it's time to finally reassemble this computer. Just after I put the top lid, I realized that I forget to add the speakers and Wi-Fi antennas, so I had to remove the top lid again and install them. And finally, this project is done. And this is it. A trashed laptop converted into a stylish desktop computer. This type of projects are really satisfying to make. From a paper idea to a fully finished working computer. The matte bottom with a top clear lid works out really good and in general this mismatch measure problems that we got earlier is almost invisible. So the real test now is plug it in and see if it is a real computer. Let's test it.
and there you go. A nice satisfying project that came out in a really cool way. As always, if you'd like to see more, please consider subscribe, leave a like, comment and also share this video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.